Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Councilmember Daniel Drum and I'm the chair of the committee. Today we are joined by Council Members Keith Powers, Robert Cornegy, Rory Lansman, Jimmy Van Bramer, Barry Grudenchik, Adrian Adams, Helen Rosenthal, and Steve Matteo. Okay. <laughs> Today the committee will be voting on eight items, five land use items, a transparency resolution, and two resolutions to approve the council's fiscal operating budget, fiscal operating budget for 2019. Let's start with the land use items. The first is Red Hook Gardens in Councilmember Menchaca's district in Brooklyn, which would provide a full 19-year Article 11 tax exemption to support the preservation of 62 units of low-income rental housing. The second item is 346 East 21st Street in Councilmember Rivera's district in Manhattan. This would provide a full 40-year Article 11 tax exemption to support the preservation of 30 units of low-income rental housing. The third, fourth, and fifth items are in Councilmember Levine's district in Manhattan, in Manhattan and are projects relating to Columbia University's expansion in Manhattanville. Each of the three properties would receive a full 40-year Article 11 exemption to collectively support the new construction of 42 co-op units for low-income households. All three council members are supportive of these projects. Next, we have the transparency resolution, which sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the office, Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council or other entity are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolutions, Council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any Council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you may have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations supported by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Marley Marcellus from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding disclosures. And last, we have the Council's Fiscal 2019 Operating Budget, which totals $81.4 million. This is divided into $62.3 million for personal services and $19.1 million for other than personnel services. Unless there are any questions on today's items, I will ask Billy Martin, the committee clerk, to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote. Committee on Finance, all items are coupled. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Cornegy. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Matteo. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Powers. We have a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, thank you very much, and I will hold the vote open for 10 minutes till about 10.30 or so. Thank you. <laughs> 